about moving to Boca Raton, Florida, and guess what? I just moved out of Boca Raton. So today I'm actually back in Boca Raton looking at all of the different areas, looking at properties so that I can move back to Boca because I instantly regretted it the second I moved. So today we're looking at properties throughout Boca and I figured while I'm just going throughout Boca, I might as well show you around Boca Raton, Florida and let you see the different areas of Boca. If you're thinking about moving here, kind of see maybe where you would want to live, but more importantly, figure out and rule out where you definitely do not want to live in Boca Raton. So if you want that information, stay tuned. So right now I'm in downtown Boca and this is kind of the heart of Boca Raton. And one thing that you definitely want to consider is how close you are to downtown Boca when you move here. Downtown is kind of where everything happens, where everyone wants to be. It's the really the city part of Boca Raton. And there's a few things that you'll want to consider. The first one being, that Boca Raton does have a lot of parks throughout and a lot of them are located more in the downtown area. So right now I am filming in one of Boca Raton's parks. They actually just opened it. As you can see, it's on the Intracoastal, which is insane. The parking here is free. There is a limit of two hours, but to spend two hours walking around, looking at the water views, watching the boats go by with your kids, that's an amazing feature of Boca Raton. It is something that you'll wanna consider, especially if you have kids. It's really nice to have a place where it's free to park and you can come and enjoy the water views. And there's a playground, a little splash area for kids. This is right next to downtown Boca, which gives more of a city feel. Let's go talk about that. I just want to note as well that Boca Raton does have a ton of free park or they have a very affordable pass where you can get access to a majority of their parks as long as you are a Boca Raton resident. It's also important to consider that there are different areas of Boca Raton. There's the city of Boca Raton and then there's places that are Boca Raton, but they're not incorporated in Boca Raton. So it's very important when you're looking to purchase a property. I just wanted to throw that in there because a lot of people think they're purchasing in Boca and they find out afterwards that they're actually not in the incorporated Boca Raton and there's different reasons that you would want to do that. So now we are downtown and Boca Raton and one of the things that you'll definitely want to consider is this bridge right behind me that opens and closes to allow the boats and the yachts to go by every couple minutes. So you want to consider that if you're considering moving here because the last thing you need is to be rushing on your way to work or just itching to get home and you get stuck behind the bridge letting a yacht go through. Another thing you'll definitely want to consider before moving to downtown Boca Raton is all of the construction that will be going on all of the time. They're really working on building up downtown Boca right now and the construction is just something that's inevitable with that. So they are putting a lot of work into Boca which is really nice when you're purchasing a property to have the property value go up but the construction noise and all of that, the workers being everywhere, the trucks being everywhere blocking the road, you having to deal with all of the construction is definitely something to consider. So downtown Boca at the moment really has a lot of families moving in, a lot of people that are working professionals but there's also a lot of young people because there are just so many things to do in downtown Boca. So you will find that the people that move here are people that want to walk places. They don't mind the city feel because downtown Boca, that's definitely what you get. It really feels like the city of Boca Raton. You can walk places. There's a lot of things to do. If you like going out to restaurants, to dinner, to the nightclubs and all of that, you'll want to be in downtown Boca or at least consider how far away you are from downtown Boca if you're going to move here because that is such a huge part of Boca. Again, proof of the construction. So definitely one thing you'll want to consider before moving here is all of the traffic, the road work, the just congestion that you get with living in a smaller city-like style area because downtown Boca is definitely the city portion of Boca Raton, Florida. One thing you also want to consider with downtown Boca is that there are a lot of young people here because there is Lynn University, FAU, and Palm Beach State College right downtown Boca. So now we have moved over to a little bit north of East Boca and this is where a lot of the bigger companies are. They really have a lot of companies have their headquarters here and Boca is actually known for originally being kind of the secret area of I IBM and that's originally where IBM kind of was. There's actually a lot of their secret buildings still, a lot of people that work there here in Boca Raton. So some of the biggest draws here in the northern east section of Boca Raton are the Brightline station that just opened up. I'm still shocked myself that Boca Raton even allowed them to open a Brightline station, but that's wonderful for the people that are commuting to work. So you can drop off in Boca or get on in Boca and go all the way up either to West Palm Beach, there's a Brightline station, or Fort Lauderdale, or even if you want to go all the way down to Miami, there's also a Brightline station there. There's also an Amazon facility here in Boca Raton. So a lot of times you'll see 10 to 20 Amazon trucks just kind of in a line. Oh, there's a duck. That's a wonderful thing to see Amazon actually investing in the Boca Raton area and see that it's providing a lot of jobs for people. And just also you're able to get your packages a lot faster here that I've noticed sometimes the based on where you're delivering throughout Palm Beach County, the Boca Raton time seemed to be a little bit shorter and I'm assuming it's just where the facility is. So here in this part where we're a little bit north, there's mainly people who are working. So they're working professionals. That's what we're seeing a lot of. Now, a lot of them, they 
they will either be younger working professionals where I've seen a lot of people where they move here and they work here just for a certain amount of time and then they end up moving away just where they get promoted within the company. There's also people who have lived here their whole lives, but it's just a, in this section of Boca, I've seen that it's a smaller percentage. There are a lot of families in this area still. There's just also a lot of younger professionals. I'm out here in West Boca now. I'm currently in the Uptown Boca Plaza. It's a brand new plaza out in West Boca Raton. Uh, West Boca is the unincorporated part of Boca Raton. So there is like a certain line of where it switches over to, it's technically Boca Raton, but it's not the city of Boca Raton. It's very, it's different things. So make sure you have a realtor that understands the difference and will share with you the difference. Cause a lot of people that don't uh, really know this area, they don't understand that. And they don't know the differences when it comes to kind of important things like the trash and like stuff like that, like things you don't really normally think about. It does matter basically where you live and obviously different things are better for different people. Um, so you might see something now, but literally just give me a call in a two minute conversation. I can tell you exactly where you need to be, the benefits of being there, all of that stuff. So it's a little bit difficult to figure that out from a video. So basically right now I'm in West Boca. I'm in the Uptown Boca Plaza. Again, this is a brand new plaza out in West Boca. It is really busy, which is why I'm not filming outside. I found like a tiny corner of the parking lot and I was like, you know what? I'm just going to sit right here and film for now. So, but it has basically all of the things that you need. And that's one of the great things about West Boca because they do have all of the stores that you need. So like out in this plaza, there's a restaurant called Lazy Dog, which isn't like a big restaurant, but isn't like a big restaurant in terms of like chains, but it's a huge restaurant in terms of every single person in South Florida loves this restaurant. It's really cool. It's kind of like everything has a twist to it. Instead of just getting like grilled chicken with mashed potatoes and asparagus or something, it'll be like cauliflower potatoes and like, you know, it's got like some twist at. So everybody likes it because it's just something different. They also have a Chick-fil-A out here in this plaza. They have a Tide Cleaners. They have a Sephora. But basically West Boca is the place where they have all of the stuff. So the stuff that you would really drive to go get. So like if you're going to Sephora, you would, you could go to the mall and get it, but they also have a Sephora out here. Or let's say you're going to go to Lowe's or Home Depot or Burlington, like stores like that, PetSmart, things like that. They are out in West Boca. So if you do live in East Boca, there are a couple of them like throughout, but out in West Boca, you really have everything. But with that, you also get the traffic of having all of that stuff. So everyone is driving over here. There's just, I don't know. Every time I come out here, I always say that I personally could not live out here just because of all the traffic. Now I will say when you get to the residential section though, oh my gosh, it's beautiful. But the second that you try to go to Publix, I'm someone that gets very annoyed with traffic. I can't stand it at all. There is a Publix out in West Boca in the residential area. That part is nice. But then when you try to like go to the bigger stores, it just feels like you're sitting in traffic for so long. Like no matter what the time of year it is, that is one thing that absolutely drives me insane. But obviously people deal with that all the time. And if you're probably a little bit more patient than I am, it's not going to be an issue at all. And it is very convenient to be able to just like run out to Best Buy or Home Depot or whatever it is you need. That's like a big store and you know they have whatever you're looking for. That's really convenient about being out in the West Boca area. So it's also nice that they added a Sephora here. So you no longer have to go all the way to the mall. One other thing to consider when living out here in West Boca area is that you want to consider how far you are from downtown Boca. So I'd say you're about 30, 40 minutes, depending on traffic, to downtown Boca, which is fine if you're not planning on going there all the time. And there's tons of restaurants out here in West Boca on their own. But just to think about going to the beach, like I'd say Town Center Mall is probably 20, 30 minutes from being in West Boca. And then to add on going to the beach, you're looking at 30 to 40 minutes, which is fine, you know. But when you have a teenager who wants to go to the mall all the time and you're having to drop them off there every day after school, but it's 20, 30 minutes away and then 20, 30 minutes back, then you got to go pick them up. You know, that's like the things you want to consider before you purchase a place, especially out here in West Boca. However, I do get people literally calls. We get calls all the time where people want to move to West Boca specifically for the schools. And that's the only reason just they want to live in West Boca because the schools are so good. Palm Beach County schools are really good. So that is one thing we get calls literally all the time where they don't even care where they live. They just need to be in West Boca for the school zone. So that is definitely a huge benefit of living in West Boca. They're wonderful schools. A lot of houses out here too. If you would spend like a million dollars out in East Boca, you're not going to get as large of a house or as, I don't want to say nice of a house, but it would be a more updated house that's larger and you have more land and stuff like that out in West Boca than you would probably in East Boca. It's just, there's different things and obviously different areas of Boca, like people need different things. So again, a two minute conversation and I'll know exactly where you should be in Boca and where your family would be best living here. Boca overall is wonderful. So we have basically in West Boca, it's kind of weird because there's different areas of West Boca. So what I would call kind of like the residential section where it's just like a large amount of homes. And then that's after you get past 441. Then you also have the schools out there. And there are like a couple, like I think there's a Walgreens and a Publix and like a small shopping center, but that's it. That's all you get over there. So you have to kind of cross 441, which is the main road to get to the other parts. So the plaza that I'm in, the Uptown Boca is past 
past 4.41. I think I'm just a drama queen about the traffic and that's it. I don't know what it is. It just feels like there is just a lot of traffic, like no matter what time you're out here and it drives me nuts. But I think that's just only something that I complain about. I have family that live out here. I have friends that live out here and they love it here. So if you're thinking about moving to South Florida or even just Boca Raton, be sure to subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss all of the content that I'm putting out for you weekly about moving to South Florida. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. I'm always just a text away.